Oh, okay. 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 Oh, yeah, well, now it's changing again because right. of injuries, right? right? Yeah. Um, people are going down, each being out. So it's just finding who can perform on any given night, uh, what, what lineups, and what works best for us on any given night. Now, again, on, you know, the normal, normal thing with one of our starting, or two of our starters out, are you? So we get leash back, you know, we're not we're not getting needed back for the rest of the season. Now it's just like filling the gaps and um, you know, you can help us Next man. Uh Jason Hill. Uh, Jason Hill. 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 You know how she's so presented as well. Yeah, and that is a pro. I mean, when you look at the definition of what a pro is, I think that's exactly that. Um, shows up day in, day out. Um, and when you know what you're going to get from her, super consistent. Um, stays within the flow of who she is, doesn't try to get outside of who she is, doesn't try to do too, too much. Um, has a very good awareness and understanding of what her game is. And I think over the years has um, gotten better in terms of. Um, the ability to step out and shoot the basketball, different things like that, and the ability to carry the team. Um, she's done that several occasions when needed to be, um, and she's going to begin this year as well um, for where they are. So Mecca is just um, the epitome of what, what you would want as a coach in terms of play. What have you seen out of the teacher? I know it's up and down for people, not yeah. a lot of men. But you know, the last games are a little bit against Asia. Yeah. I just wanted to see how they're out of practice. Yeah. Yeah. She's back to play. Um, LA is somebody who's super aggressive, um, smart, understands what we're trying to do on any given night in terms of our schemes, different things like that. Um, plays with an aggressiveness that forces you to pay attention to her, especially on the offensive end. I think on the defensive end, um, she's still learning, right? The league and the personnel and and um, how to. And how to use her her gifts and talents um to best suit her. Um, but that just comes with experience. That comes with experience. So definitely it's continuing to grow and get better each and every day. So we're we're happy with where where LA is, you know, the slow season just causes things to be the way it is. So we're happy with their growth. Um I want to ask you, especially with Nas getting more opportunity now with me out. Um, I know, especially early on in the season, we talked a lot about her just being aggressive and finding and taking her spots. You know, when you're, especially now with her leaving stuff up, yes. you know, what is, I know, I know messaging doesn't necessarily change, but like, what's the course of that? Uh, yeah, the message has changed. What I've been asking for Nas all year is, that is the same, to pick and choose um, her spots when she gets the opportunity. That's her kid. <laughs> 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 I'm going to write on and she's <laughs> Um, even through the window. <laughs> but, uh, Nas, you know, Nas is, Nas is unique in terms of her position and different things like that. Mm -hmm. So Nas has to use her energy and the skill set that she has when she's against bigger people compared to when she's against smaller people and different things like that. But what we know of Nas, um, Nas is a game. Um, last year she went from playing little minutes to now starting and playing 30 plus minutes a game when we had injuries, right? So what I know about Nas is Nas is somebody who I can depend on. She's a gamer. Um, and when she's given the opportunity, she can't she can't step up and rise to the occasion. So now it's just another opportunity for her to do that. Um, just like she had the opportunity last year. Um, here's another opportunity for you to do that. And um, I'm I'm expecting for her to do that. Yep. Does no one use it in terms of she wants? Good. Yeah. No problem. So why do you Oh, you're <laughs> you're not, no. you coming? Say so you should already have it. Go for it, guys. 
I wanted to ask, I saw that shot that Nas made from half court. It was the first time in a while I had seen you smile. Oh, no, that was actually Haley. Was it Haley? Yeah, that's what it was. I was just thinking about it. But it was Haley. Yes, you and Haley were like wrapped up in center court. Just what was going on in that moment? What happened right before this? Well, the game was over. The shooting was over. But I didn't go yet. And my thing is, I'm not going to shoot if somebody already made it. <laughs> so Haley's like, I'll shoot for you. So she shot it. She made it. So oh, obviously, okay. it doesn't rush. Okay. Well, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, AD, I wanted to ask you a question. You, you've obviously had stuff up with injuries uh, happening for the team. What's that been like for you, your mindset, you know, coming to the game? I don't think it's changed per se, but is there anything that you challenge yourself with, you know, just kind of step up? Yeah, don't make this change. I'm still still trying to be a pro. So whenever your time is here, you have to be able to produce. Um, being a team, that's just part of it. Somebody else has to step up. Yeah, you guys are going to be back to the game. Thank <laughs> you.